Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today with another Back to Basics baseball game. Today, it's going to be the 1966 Twins, as you can see in the screen, against the 1985 White Sox. The 66 Twins had a record of 89 and 73 and were second place in the American League. The White Sox were 85 and 77, and the card doesn't say where they finished in the West, so the AL West. So I'm not going to try to guess at that, but these are two pretty evenly matched teams. Now, if you remember seeing the 85 White Sox play, or you remember seeing the 66 Minnesota Twins play, back to basics baseball on my channel, it's because they each did before against other teams. The White Sox played the Oakland A's of like 1980, I think. And I don't remember who the Twins played, but it was a different team. So <coughs> this is a matchup of these two teams against each other. And um, uh, something that makes this uh, uh, easier on me also is that these happen to be two teams that I actually made the cards for. Because as you rec will recall, Back to Basics Baseball is played uh, by you just fill in your score sheet with all of the values for each category of, uh, of attribute that a player can have. And then you, um, you use that to determine the outcome of the play. You, there are no cards. Um, so... But what I did in the, in the instance of the 66 Twins and 85 White Sox is that I took those ratings and I converted them into car, individual cards for the players so that I would have, you know, a, a deck of cards for the players. Now, I stopped doing that because it became really, really time consuming to make cards for each team. But I do have that for these two teams. And so we're going to see these two teams match up. Uh, pitching for the 66 Twins will be Mudcat Grant, um, who uh, in 1966 was 13 and 13 with a 325 earned run average. And on the mound for the uh, uh, White Sox, without the statistic or without the ERA, I don't have his ERA, but it will be Richard Dotson, who was um, who was three and four. Um, and uh, was mainly, I think it looks like he was mainly a reliever, but I'm going to start him in this game uh, just because I can do that. That's, you know, my prerogative. Um, but I know he was at other times a starter. Like, for instance, in 1979, he did start some games. Uh, that was, his, I think, his rookie year. So the White Sox definitely did consider him an up-and-coming uh, possible starter. And he had nine games with 52 innings, so it's likely that he did start. Maybe he was injured. But whatever the situation was for him in 85, he is starting this game against the Twins. So uh, we are going to start off. The, um, the home team is the 85 White Sox, and so we are going to use the DH because, again, that is easier on me, and I'm going to do what's easier on me. So the uh, lineup for the um, 66 Twins will be Tony Oliva in center field, Cesar Tovar at second base, Harmon Killebrew at DH, Don Mincher at first base, Earl Beatty at catcher, Bob Allison will be in right field, Zolio Versailles will be the shortstop, Jimmy Hall will be in left, and Bernie Allen will be the third baseman. And so with that, we are going to get um, underway. Again, the cards are right here, and uh, the card that I will be reading off of is the card that I flip over and put right here. Not what is on the card here, if you can see it. But anyway, we will get underway with this. Um, the uh, pitcher card, the pitcher section for a uh, <coughs> um, Dotson is a C pitcher, so <coughs> for the 
For a C pitcher, it says swing, and if we go down to the swing section, Oliva is a batter A, and a batter A says line out to third base. So he lines out. And that brings up uh, Cesar Tovar. And we'll flip another card, and a C pitcher says swing, and Tovar is a batter C, and a C batter says home run if he's a home run A or Otherwise, it's a double, and he is a home run D. So that is going to be a double for Tovar. And uh, Harmon Killebrew is up. We'll flip another card. C pitcher says swing, and Killebrew is a B batter. And the B batter says strike out if he's a B, C, D, or F at striking out. And he is... An F, so he does strike out, and there is two down quickly. And that brings up Don Mincher. And Don Mincher is a C batter, and of course we've established Dotson is a C pitcher. And that is a swing on a C pitcher, and for a C batter, it's a ground out to shortstop with a possible um, error check. And uh, we will do the error check. Um, that is going to be an out. He does make the play, and uh, we we exit the top of the first with the Twins having gotten no runs and a man all the way to second base, but that's it. The lineup for the White Sox um, will be Rudy Law in center field, Tom Pachorek at first, Harold Baines in right, Fisk at catcher, Kittle will be the left fielder, Walker the DH, Salaz, Luis Salazar at third. Julio down by the schoolyard crews will be the second baseman. And Ozzie Guillen will be the shortstop. And um, Mudcat Grant is a pitcher B. So we flip the card. Pitcher B says strikeout. So Law just gets up there and he whiffs. We go to the next batter and that is Pachorek. And uh um, a B pitcher says swing. Pachorek is a D batter. And a D batter gets a ground out to short. So quickly there is two down. <clears throat> and that brings up Harold Baines. And we got a B pitcher saying that it's going to be a strikeout. So Mudcat Grant just struck out two of the three guys he faced. And the White Sox went down very quickly there. Don Mincher will now be the batter for the Twins in the top of the second. C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C batter, and a C batter gets an injury with a question mark. So we're going to check the uh, we're going to check for the injury. Is no, so there is no injury, <coughs> and he has to bat again because all we determined there was that he's not injured. So you, we'll do it all again. A C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C batter, and uh, that is a single. So that's going to be the first hit of the game by Don Mincher <clears throat> here in the second inning. And Earl Beatty steps up. C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C batter, and a C batter gets a double if he's an A, B, C, or D at uh, doubling, at hitting a double. And he is not. He is an F. So uh, in that particular case, what we do is... Uh, all right, so that was a single with the runner advancing two bases. So um, <coughs> Mincher goes to third, and, uh, and Beatty has himself a single. <coughs> Runners at the corners, Bob Allison up. A C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a D batter. And a D batter gets a walk if he's an A, B, C, or a D at walking. And he is, let's see. A, so yes, he does walk. And the bases are loaded. Bases loaded, no outs for Rizzolio Versailles. C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C batter, and a C batter gets an injury with a question mark and a home run 
uh, if he's an F with a double question mark. God, I don't have any idea what that means. I got to go look that up. All right, I looked that one up, and as Versailles, Versailles is not injured, and he hits a deep fly out, which will score the runner on third and moves the runner on second over to third. So that's going to be a, a F9 and an RBI. And Jimmy Hall is the next batter. There is one out now. C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a D batter, and the D batter gets a walk. If he's an A or a B at walking, and he is not, he is a C at walking, and so he would be considered to be out, and we will flip the card. And the out is to second base, and uh, we will have to determine whether that is a double play or not. And no, it isn't. It's a uh, fielder's. It's an out to second base and a fielder's choice. And since I didn't have the infield in, the run will then score, and the runner's out at second. So Jimmy Hall knocks in the uh, run, and that brings up Bernie Allen. And Bernie Bernie Allen gets a swing off of a C pitcher. And he is a D batter, and he gets a home run if he's a C-plus home run hitter. He is not, and so he gets a deep fly to left. <coughs> the Twins are out of the inning, but they do get two runs in the second. And that takes us to the bottom of the second, where the White Sox have Carlton Fisk coming up to face Mudcat Grant. Mudcat Grant is a B pitcher. He gets a swing from Fisk. Fisk is a D batter, and a D batter gets a home run if he's an A at home runs. And he is not. He just barely makes not being an A at home run hitting. And so he does get a double. So Fisk pulls in with a double. Kind of like, well, no, not quite like how they start. How the Twins started last inning. Ron Kittle is the batter. No outs, man at second. B pitcher gets a deep fly to center field. That's one away. Um, and the, uh, let's see if the, uh, so I'm going to say the runner, I'm going to say the runner holds on the F8. And Walker comes up. Walker off of the B pitcher gets a pop out to short. Pop out six, and that brings up Lewis Salazar. White Sox not doing a lot here. Off of a B pitcher, it's a line out to shortstop. Line out six, the White Sox go down without any runs scored. We go to the top of the third, where the batter is Bernie Allen of the Twins. A C pitcher gets a ground out to second base. So there's one away. Bernie Allen, <coughs> Bernie Allen goes four to three. Tony Oliva is up with one down, nobody on. A C pitcher gets a ground out to third base with an error check. And, um, or uh, he is an F. He's an F at third for error. We'll flip the card. And that is going to be an error. So, um, and it's a one base error because there's nothing in parentheses. So it's going to be an E5 that Oliva gets on by, and Cesar Tovar is the batter. A C pitcher gets a line out to shortstop, so there's two down. Dotson needed that. And Harmon Killebrew is up. C pitcher gets a pop out to short. He needed that too. So the, the uh, Twins get nothing despite the fact that somebody got on by a third, by an error. Um, uh, Oliva got on by an error by... Uh, Louis Salazar, but that was it. And Louis Salazar himself, or wait, no, Cruz is up. Julio Cruz is the batter for the White Sox here in the third. A B pitcher gets a ground out to shortstop with a range check. See, so we'll flip the card and look at the range, or look at the C, and it is an out. So it is a six to three that he goes, Cruz does. And Guillen is the batter, Ozzie Guillen. A B pitcher gets a walk if 
he is um, comes up with a walk if he is a C, D, or an F at walking people. And he is not. He is an A at walking people. So we refer to the batter section. And we will flip the card and look at the batter. <coughs> and he is a C-plus batter. And he gets a ground out to short with an error check. So we'll flip the card and look at the error section for F. And it is an out. So that is a six to three. And in case you're wondering, because um, uh, I, I know that I've had comments about this in the past, um, when I do when I do a reading from the pitcher's card up here or the pitcher's side up here at the top, and it refers me like on a swing, it refers me to the batter. I just go right to the batter section on the same card because it's saying directly go to the the batter section. I don't see the point in flipping another card. It just makes more, you know, flipping that I've got to do and getting through the deck faster. But if I do get a result up here that results in some kind of a split rating, like, um, you know, he gets on if it's an A or a B, but not if it's a something or a something, then I will flip the card and look at the batter section because it's a split rating. But when it directly says swing, I just go right down to the bottom, so... That's how I do it. Um, it says it's a non-shuffle deck anyway, so um, in theory, it shouldn't matter whether I flip the next card or I don't flip the next card. But anyway, uh, that is two quick outs there. And I believe we're back to the top of the lineup with Rudy Law. And a B pitcher gets a swing and he is a C batter and a C batter gets a pop out to third base. And so the White Sox go quickly in the third, and we go to the top of the fourth, and Harmon Killebrew is the batter for the Twins. I mean, we're going through the deck fast enough as it is. A C pitcher gets a swing, and he is a B batter, and a B batter gets a triple if he's an A or a B at tripling. But he isn't, so he gets a double. So... Killebrew pulls in with a double in the fourth to lead off the fourth. Don Mincher is up. C pitcher gets a swing. He is a C batter, and a C batter gets a pop out to short. Pop out six. Earl Beatty comes up. C pitcher gets a line out to first base. So line out three. And Bob Allison is up with two down and a man at second. C pitcher gets a swing and a D batter gets a deep fly to center field. But that's just a deep fly and it's a fly out eight. And the Twins come up with nothing in the fourth. The White Sox need to get something going here. They've been a wet noodle offensively for all of this game, really. And Tom Pachorek is going to be the first batter. Off of a B pitcher, he gets a ground out to shortstop. So he is out six to three. Um, Harold Baines comes up and off a of B batter he gets a walk just a plain everyday walk so Baines is aboard with a walk <coughs> uh, Fisk is the batter off of a B pitcher he gets a walk if he's a B, C, D or an F at walking people but he isn't he is an A and so we refer to the batter section. And as I said, this is a split reading. So we'll go to the batter section, and he's a batter D, and that is a fly out to right field. F9, and that brings up Kittle. Kittle comes up, and off of a B batter, he gets a walk if he's an F, but he isn't a walk um, pitch, he isn't an F walking. So we'll flip and look at the batter section. He is a D batter, and a D batter gets a single with two asterisks, so that means the runners advance two bases. And we have runners at the corners with two down, and the White Sox best chance to score yet with Greg Walker, the first baseman, coming up. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a C uh, batter, and a C batter gets a walk. If he's an A, B, or a C at walking, he is not. And so um, that would be an out, and we'll refer to the section to see the out. And it's an out to catcher, and it's two to one, and it doesn't matter. It was the third out, so 
or two to three. And so the White Sox come away with nothing there. We go to the top of the fifth. We got Big Bob Allison is the leadoff batter for the Twins here in the fifth. And uh, off a C pitcher, he gets a fly out to center field. And, you know, I was thinking of... Um, or wait a minute. No, that was Versailles. But it, it doesn't matter. It's still a fly out to center field. I was thinking of uh, taking Dotson out, but really since the first or since the second inning, he's really settled down. Zolio Versailles is up and um, off the C pitcher, he gets a fly out to left. So two quick fly outs, and then you got Jimmy Hall, the batter for the Twins. And uh, off a of C, he gets a walk if he's a B, C, D, or an F at walking people. And he is, so that is a walk. <clears throat> uh, no, that was Bernie Allen. And, and, and he did walk. So you got a man at first with two down and Tony Oliva up. And Tony Oliva off a C gets a swing. He is an A batter and an A batter gets a home run. If he is an A home run hitter, he is not. And so he gets a double with two asterisks. The, that means the runners advanced only the two bases. Um, so runner at third, and, second and third. And um, Cesar Tovar is up. And Cesar Tovar, well, we got to flip the card the right way. Off of a B or a B pitcher, yeah, he gets a, or wait a minute, off a C pitcher, he gets a swing and he is a C batter. And the C batter gets a strikeout if he is an F at striking out, which um, I would think he's not. He is not. So that means he's out. And so we'll, we'll just out regular and we'll flip the card to see uh, what kind of an out. And it's an out to first base, but it was the third out again. So um, it doesn't really, we don't have to check for anything special there. And so no runs come in for those guys in the fifth, the Twins in the fifth. And they still maintain a 2 nothing lead here, bottom of the fifth, with uh, Luis Salazar at the plate. And uh, off a of B batter, he gets a line out to second base. So line out four. And Mudcat Grant has these guys just flailing. I mean, they're not, they're guessing, they're not coming up with big hits. It's uh, really a mess for the White Sox here. And a B pitcher gets a fly out to left with an error check. And we, so we will do the error check. And Jimmy Hall is a D error. So we will check that. And that's going to be an error, and it's just a one base error because there's nothing in parentheses. So he gets on by an E7. And uh, that brings up Guillen with a man aboard and one out. Let's see if the White Sox can capitalize off that. A B batter or B pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C plus batter, which is a strikeout if he's a D or an F at striking out. Uh, he is not. So we will uh, check it, check for the out. And the out is to right field. And uh, F9 and Rudy Law up. Man at first, two down. B uh, pitcher gets a swing and he is a C batter. And a C batter gets a ground out to the catcher with an air check at catcher. We go to with that we go to the top of the sixth and I am going to make a pitching change right now for the White Sox I'm bringing Bob James in to pitch uh, he is an A pitcher in 1985 he was 8 and 7 and he had 32 saves I'm bringing him in early because I need to shut this down right now with the way the White Sox are not hitting and getting on base and um Harmon Killebrew is going to be the first batter to uh, lead off here in the sixth, top of the sixth inning. 
and an A pitcher gets a swing, and he is a B batter, and a B batter gets a ground out to short. So Killebrew goes um, six to three. There's one down. Don Mincher is up. Don Mincher gets off an A, gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out, and he is, so it's a strikeout. And um, Earl Beatty comes up, the catcher. And off an A, he gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C at striking people out, and he is, so he strikes him out as well. And Bob James comes on, he's not fooling around. And that's exactly what we need because we're still down 2 nothing without being able to do anything off of Mudcat Grant, who is still out there, and Tom Pachorek is the batter for the White Sox. Off a of B pitcher, it's a strikeout. So Pachorek just strikes out to lead off the of White Sox sixth. Harold Baines comes up. Harold Baines off a of B pitcher gets a swing, and he is a batter A, and an A gets a home run if he's an A+. Plus. At home run hitting, he is not. So he gets a deep fly to center field. So that's an F8, a little, little disappointing. And uh, Carlton Fisk comes up off a of B pitcher. He gets a swing. He is a D batter, and a D batter gets a strikeout if he's a D or an F at striking out, and he is. So Fisk strikes out, and that's a quick, another quick inning yet again for Mudcat Grant. And we go to... <coughs> The top of the seventh, the Twins batting against James, who had 110 innings pitched that year, so he can go a little bit. Um, off an A, it's, the A pitcher gets a strikeout. So, um, or so now that was not Beatty, that was Allison. Allison strikes out, and Versace comes up with one down, and off an A, that's another strikeout. So. Bob James is not fooling around. Jimmy Hall is the batter. Off an A pitcher, he gets a swing. This is a D batter, and a D batter gets a line out to second base. Line out to four. No runs in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh, trying to break through here. Car um, no, Kittle is the leadoff batter. Ron Kittle leading off against Mudcat Grant. Off a of B pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a D, and he gets a walk if he's an A at walking, which I doubt very much he is. He is not, and so that will be um, an out. We refer to the out section, and uh, that is going to be an out to the shortstop, 6-3. to three. So Kittle is out 6-3. to three. Um, Greg Walker comes up. Off a B pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a C batter, and a C batter gets a single. So at least that's a base hit. We've got a man aboard with Lewis Salazar up with one out. A B pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking out, which he probably is. No, he isn't. He's an F at striking people out. So we will refer to the batter section. It's a split um, decision. So he is a batter D, and a batter D gets a passed ball, which moves the runner to second base, and we will pick it again and refer to the batter, since that all we know is that that was a passed ball. And the D batter gets a an injury, possible injury. He is a uh, <coughs> possible uh, injury to the base runner, who is Walker. And let's see what Walker's injury is. His injury is, um, usually that jumps right out at me. It's an A. So if it's an A, he's out for three games. And so I've got to um, replace him. All right, I can't. We're gonna we're gonna put Joe Desa out there as the base runner. He'll come in for Walker and play first as well. He is an A at first base for range and error. Very good first baseman. He just can't hit very well. <coughs> but right now he's just a base runner anyway. 
And now we will flip the card again, yet again, and refer to the batter section. And he is a D batter, and the D batter gets a fly out to center field. So all of that just to get a fly out to center field. And that brings up with two down and a man at second, um, Julio Cruz. We would really like to see Julio Cruz knock a guy in here. A B batter gets a walk if he's a deer in F at walking people, and he is not. And so it does refer to the batter section. And um, we will flip the card and see what that is. He's a batter F, and that is a short fly to left field. So that's going to be an F7. The White Sox, again, come up empty, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. Um, and I am going to make a pitching change because James has already gone two innings. They do want to go still. Will be the new pitcher for the White Sox to pitch to Jimmy Hall. Want to go still in 1985. Had 50, he appeared in 54 games and pitched 60 innings. So he doesn't have a lot of leash, but he doesn't need it because we're in the top of the eighth. Um, a, uh, and he is a B pitcher, so the B pitcher gets a strikeout. If he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out, and he is. So Jimmy Hall strikes out and goes down very quickly. No, not Jimmy Hall. It's Bernie Allen. I never changed the card for the Twins. Seems I do that for the White Sox. But anyway, it's a strikeout for Bernie Allen and brings way to Oliva. B pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C at striking people out. And he is A, B, or a C. No, he is not. And so we will refer to the batter section, and he is a batter A, Oliva is. He gets a pop out to third. Pop out five, and that brings up Cesar Tovar. And uh, for a B pitcher, he gets a deep fly to center field. So that's going to be an F8. And uh, they get no runs in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th. And uh, Mudcat Grant. You know what? That's going to be it for Mudcat Grant. We're in the 8th inning. We've seen enough of Mudcat Grant. <laughs> but even in 1966, I think after seven innings, they might have... Um, made a pitching change. So Dwight Siebler. And Dwight Siebler is a big pitcher, so it's not like he's, you know, any kind of chopped liver here. He uh, appeared in 23 games, pitched 50 innings. He was 2-2 two and two with one save and an ERA of 344. So it's not like he's chopped liver for these guys. He is just as viable at getting people out. Well, maybe not just as viable, but close at getting people out as um, possibly Mudcat Grant was. Ozzie Guillen will be the leadoff batter for the White Sox. He is a, what was he? A B pitcher. He's still a B pitcher. And that's a fly out to right with an error check. And he is an F in right field. So we will pick the card and take a look. And the error is an out. So that's going to be a fly out to right. Um for Gian, and that's an F9. Rudy Law back to the top of the order. B pitcher gets a swing, and he is a C batter, and the C batter gets a strikeout if he's a D or an F at striking out. Doesn't really matter because he'll be out um, anyway. He isn't, so we'll just refer to the out section. And that is an out to catcher, so that's going to be a 2-1, to one, or 2-3. to three. And Pachoric is the batter, and... He gets a, off a B pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a D batter, and he gets a triple, if he's an A at tripling, which he is not. <laughs> um, no. So he gets a double, actually. <clears throat> so we got Pachoric at second and Harold Baines up. I mean, this is exactly what you would, you couldn't ask for any better. A swing by a B pitcher, and he is an A batter, and an A batter gets a double and two runs, or uh, two bases so that knocks in the run and now we have Baines at second and Carlton Fisk up again not a bad situation for the these White Sox that is uh he gets a pop out though he's a B pitcher he gets a pop out to catcher so 
pop out to uh, two. The White Sox pull within one. They just need one run in the bottom of the ninth if they can hold the Twins right here. And that's a big if. Um, the first batter is Harmon Killebrew. Uh, if maybe he is. Yeah, this really is Killebrew. And again, I got to, yeah, these cards sticking together. A B pitcher gets a swing, and he is a B batter. And a B batter gets a walk. If he's an A, B, C, or a D at walking, he is. Killebrew is a board with a walk. And that brings up Don Mincher. Off a of B pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a batter C. He gets a pop out to first. Pop out three. Earl Beatty is the batter. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a batter C, and he gets a strikeout if he's a C, D, or an F at striking out. He isn't, but it's just an out, and we'll refer to the out section. It's a shortstop, and it's a fielder's choice. So two away, and <coughs> Beatty is the man at first, and Bob Allison comes up. Bob Allison, off a of B pitcher, gets a swing, and he is a D batter, and a D batter gets a walk if he's an A, B, C, or a D. And he is. So that's two runners aboard with two down. And um, Zolio for Zays is the batter. Off a of B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is a batter C, and a C gets a single with one asterisk. So bases are loaded. The runners had to hold. And Jimmy Hall's up with loaded bases and two down. And he gets a, uh, off a of B batter, he gets a swing, and he is a D, uh, or off a of B pitcher, he gets a swing, he's a D. He gets a walk if he's an A or a B at walking. He isn't, he's a C. So he is out, and we will flip just to look at what the out is, but it's the third out. Doesn't matter, it's an out to left field, so it's going to be an F7, and that is brings us to the bottom of the ninth and do we have enough batter cards we probably do because the white Sox just aren't doing anything so three cards might just do it um you still got dwight siebler out there pitching and this time it's to ron kittle to lead off he is a b batter and or a b pitcher right yeah so he gets a swing and he's a D batter, and a D batter gets a home run. If he's an A+, plus, he is not. Um, so he gets a deep fly to left. So that's going to be an F7. Joe DeSa. All right. We're going to, you know what? I'm going to let him back because I don't even have another first baseman. A B pitcher gets a swing, and he is a batter F, and an F gets a fly out to right. F9, and that brings it all up to Luis Salazar on the last card. Um, the last card, <coughs> B pitcher is a swing, and he is a D batter, and um, D batter gets a double if he's an A, B, or a C at doubling. There will be more cards, that's for sure. Um, a, B, or a C was that? It is, so he does get a double. He's a C. So Salazar pulls in with a double. And that means I got to reshuffle the card. All right, man, it's second with Julio down by the schoolyard Cruz, and he is the batter. A B pitcher gets a fly out to center field, but there's an error check in center field. The center fielder for them is Oliva. I wouldn't hold out for Oliva to be making an error. He is, well, he's an error F in center field. Unbelievable. So maybe he does. And we check it out, but no, he he makes the play, and that is going to be a flyout, and that is going to be the game. And what a game it was with the final score being the 66 Twins 2, the 85 White Sox 1. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.